Chance helical piles can be installed with relatively small equipment. Typical installation equipment is a hydraulic drive head mounted on a skid steer loader, excavator, or backhoe. Helical piles are relatively quick to install and require little or no ground preparation. The excavator operator crowds or applies downward pressure during the installation of the lead section at the beginning to minimize the amount of disturbed earth at the top of the hole. The groundman must assist the operator in keeping the installation plumb. This is very important when installing the lead section in the first plane extension. The operator should be able to see the pile and keep it plumb to his left or right direction, but will need assistance in the front and back direction. After installation of the lead section, a plane extension is added to extend the pile to the appropriate depth. Extensions with additional helical plates are also available if needed and help in generating more torque, which means more load capacity. The connection between pieces is a forged male-female connection with a single through bolt. A 12-inch or larger crescent wrench is used to tighten the bolts. Connections should be double-checked to ensure that they are positively connected. After the connection is checked, the installation continues. Accurately measuring the installation torque is the single most important item that the installing contractor is responsible for. The installation torque has a direct relationship to the load capacity of the pile or anchor, much like the driving force is related to the capacity of a driven pile. The device being used here is a mechanical dial torque indicator. It is inserted into the tool string and directly measures torque. It is very accurate, but it is expensive and is not very production friendly. The most production friendly and economic method of measuring torque is to insert a hydraulic pressure gauge in line with the high pressure hose supplying the drive head with hydraulic power. The drive head requires a certain amount of hydraulic pressure in order to output certain amount of torque. Because different pieces of equipment that may be used to operate the drive head will have different hydraulic characteristics, such as back pressure, the same drive head will behave differently when used on different pieces of equipment. The drive head should be calibrated to the piece of equipment with an inline torque measuring device, such as the mechanical dial torque indicator or the shear pin torque limiter, which will be demonstrated later. After several piles have been installed and the pressures recorded with the corresponding torque outputs, a chart or a curve can be plotted. Then the inline torque measuring device can be removed and the readings can be obtained from the hydraulic pressure. Notice the speed of installation. Helical piles should be installed at operating speeds between 8 and 16 revolutions per minute. Faster speeds tend to auger a hole which is detrimental to the pile's load capacity. The pitch on each helical plate is 3 inches. Therefore, if the pile is advancing correctly, it will be advancing approximately 3 inches per revolution. If the pile is not advancing properly, the pile is spinning out which is like stripping a screw. The likely solution for a pile that is spinning out is either to apply more crowd pressure or add more or larger helical plates to help generate more downward thrust to help advance the pile. Prior to reaching the maximum torque capacity of the shaft material, you will begin to see a permanent twist or wrap in the steel. This is normal and does not damage the steel. Shaft twist or wrap is a good visual indicator of installation torque. The shear pin torque limiter is another inline torque indicator that can either be used to limit the maximum torque applied to the pile shaft or can be used to calibrate the drive head to the piece of equipment so that the installation torque can be read from the hydraulic pressure gauge. The device has two machine plates that are free to spin against each other. Holes in the plates are lined up and steel pins are inserted. Each pin will shear at 500 foot-pounds of torque. The appropriate number of pins is inserted. When the installation torque exceeds the number of pins that have been inserted, the pins shear and the installation stops.